New 911 call recordings reveal the terrifying moments the victims of the Atlanta spa shootings were trying to escape a killer. Six of the victims who died were Asian women. That's right, Pat. Now many in the Asian American community are worried the shootings could be the latest in a disturbing string of hate crimes falsely blaming Asian Americans for the pandemic. Well, KKL 9's Tom Wade is here live with the latest on that investigation and the suspect who's under arrest, Tom. Hi there, Pat and Warren. Well, tonight police say it's still too early to rule out the possibility that this was a hate crime, but they say the suspect is talking and even admitted he would have continued his killing spree if he had not been caught. Where is he right now? I don't know. I'm hiding right now. Chilling audio from one of the victims of the Atlanta spa shootings. The woman tells the dispatcher the killer is somewhere in the building. As she pleads with the dispatcher, the time is of the essence. Did you have a description of him? Did you see him? Oh, yeah. Just a white guy. The rampage began here, Young's Asian Massage Parlor in Cherokee County, Georgia. A gunman with a 9mm pistol shot four people dead, two of them Asian women. 52 minutes later, another 911 call. They have a gun, he said? Yeah. More gunshots 30 miles away in Atlanta. The Gold Spa advertises 24-7 massages and police say operates legally. Three more Asian women were murdered here. It's not really making any sense how this happens at a massage spa. Responding police here then got this call. Female passed out after hearing shot fire. Yet another shooting, a third homicide scene right across the street inside the aromatherapy spa. The final victim was another Asian woman. Eight people were murdered in roughly one hour, six of them Asian women. Two victims were white, including Margaret Rushing's daughter, 33-year-old Delena Ashley Yawn. This is the hardest thing I've ever, ever in my whole life had to deal with. 21-year-old Robert Aaron Long was taken into custody after a manhunt. Police used surveillance footage to identify him and were able to track his phone. Was this racially motivated? We believe that he frequented these places in the past and, um, and uh, may have been lashing out. But the working theory is a sexual addiction issue rather than a, a, a racial profile. During our interviews, uh, we asked that specific question, and, uh, and that did not appear to be uh, the motive. The Atlanta shootings alarmed Asian American communities across America. Police stepped up patrols in big cities from coast to coast, including here in Los Angeles. Pasadena Congresswoman Judy Chu says former President Trump fomented hate toward Asian Americans when he used racist language to describe COVID-19. Since the start of the pandemic, he has been calling this the China virus, Wuhan virus, and even Kung Fu. Congresswoman Chu believes the women murdered in Atlanta were targeted because of their race. Look, I am connecting the dots. Uh, all three of these businesses were Asian spas. The first place that the shooter went to was called Young's Asian Massage. President Biden was briefed twice about the Atlanta murders, and today he had this message for victims' families. I've been speaking about the brutality against Asian Americans uh, for the last couple months, and I think it's, uh, it is very, very troubling. The killer's family helped catch him. They recognized him in this surveillance photo posted on social media and alerted deputies who began tracking his cell phone. They forced his SUV off the highway and arrested him 150 miles south of Atlanta. The killer reportedly told investigators he intended to escape to Florida and planned to shoot more people when he got there. The suspect is expected to be charged with eight counts of murder, four in each of the two counties where the killings occurred. Pat, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Tom.